everything starts upstairs. It's cold up in the clouds, and the higher the cloud, the colder it is, the more likely there is for ice to form in the cloud. We make snow starting at the, maybe the last week in October if we get real cold, below, say, 15 degrees. Everybody has taken chemistry in high school and they know that water freezes at zero degrees centigrade or 32 degrees Fahrenheit. And actually that is not true. Water only freezes at that temperature if there's a template, some crystal already there. Otherwise it may freeze at minus 15, minus 20 degrees centigrade. When it's marginal temperatures, we add Snowmax, snow inducer. What it is is freeze-dried natural source of ice nucleating proteins for snowmaking. You need to have something that, you know, have a substance here that more moisture can nucleate around. Those are usually dust particles. Um, they can be ice crystals in clouds. There are microbes in the atmosphere. They get blown off surfaces, land surfaces, plants, trees, grasses, get put in the atmosphere. Um, and those potentially can also uh, be condensation nuclei. Of the thousands of bacteria in the world, only three cause ice formation. How can this be? Well, they have a specific protein on their surface, and they make it when it's cold, and it looks a little bit like this. And the water molecules line up perfectly if they are ice with this protein. And so they cause ice formation. It's kind of hard to tell what it does. I think it works. But there's hard to have a good experiment. So this is Pseudomonas syringi from Highlight Lake. It's growing on a media with all the nutrients it needs to grow. Put that in the freezer or the refrigerator at um, temperature. It's I think four degrees Celsius or so just to get the bacteria to express the ice nucleation proteins. And from there, once the proteins are expressed, we can take a diluted sample of that and test it in supercooled water. The water is at negative seven degrees Celsius. Everything's gotta be completely sterile when you do this. <laughs> that was a good one.